What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another episode of Desperados Franchise. Today, the long-awaited rematch against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I explained why our game against, I believe it's the Colts, is going to show two plays. Needed the thumbnail for the last one. That reminds me now I need to pull up the uh, screenshot software. Uh, we barely managed to win that game. And I pulled up the screenshot software, and now it's a black screen. Don't worry about it. We're fine. We should be back here in a second. Boom. We're back. Uh, but yeah, we lost a very, very close game to the Jaguars, 29-31 to in Week 1. And Coach Gene Dangus, former head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, of course took this contract to play for the Desperados a year after due to some questionable off-the-field non-coaching decisions from Gene Dangus over here, but yeah, um, it should be really, really interesting to see what we can do against this Jags team, which is just stacked, and we're going to get Edward Teague more involved, superstar X-Factor running back, what do we need, 12 touches, that's very doable, I run the ball, it's just been unsuccessful, apparently I'm just missing the holes, yeah, I'm sure that's it, I just suck, it's definitely not the game most often, uh, you played the game and you're just terrible, that's, that's what's going to happen on the channel then. What's the risk of the injury for Troy Weldon? He's going to have to just sit, and Matthew Wayne will play instead, which is fine. Uh, let's do scouting for the first time. Haven't done that before. The last week was auto-scouted because I didn't turn it on. So we haven't seen any of these players. And we're not really looking at quarterback. We took a quarterback. But there seem to be some okay ones available. We'll look at running back as well. John Carson. Could be someone to keep an eye on. Kadeem Black looks pretty good as well. Early first round pick. Got a Penn State. Is that Saquon Barkley? They're built different. Now we have some decent running backs. These ones at the top are so bad. We have some decent receivers, I meant to say. But the thing about it is, we really don't have like a major dominant threat. Like, yeah, we have Devin Duvernay. We have Pat Bridge. Some of these guys were practice squad pickups. Devarius Givens, Pat Bridge, um, Mike Priestley, I think it is. And I don't even remember Blade's first name. Kyle Blades. Every time I'm, I'm struggling to uh, remember the names of these auto-generated players. But we're 2-2. Two and two. We've done okay. We are much, much, much worse than the Jaguars. But this time we have home field advantage. We'll have to see if that makes a difference. It's finally a sunny day. Might actually be able to throw the football in what is a pass-heavy offense when we're at our best. Yeah, we have Matthew Schmidt. He's a rookie quarterback. I think for the most part, he's played fairly well. A lot of throw out of sack interceptions that, of course, we'd like to do without. But today, we'll see if we can get the better of a team that's given us some problems in the past. And that's once, because our team has only been a team uh, for five games. This is game number five. We'll see what we can do. Austin Desperado starting with the football. Dustin Hopkins, Hopkins going to kick back to Roman Reynolds. He's been unbelievable as a returner so far this season. What can he do on this attempt? Well, nothing. So there's, there's that. Might as well start with a run, except I don't want to. I wish I could put, like, a post out there. The middle of the field looks wide open, and I just kind of want to get crazy. We throw underneath. That's stupid. Already an interception because somehow Devarius Givens doesn't go for the football. Oh, Lord. That's a great start. All right. We uh, just turned over the football on play one. Yeah, I'm throwing at a really good corner there in CJ Henderson. I am. Maybe that was slightly more open pressure. I mean, we have the angle. And then, like, suddenly my receiver, instead of playing the ball, plays the uh, corner like a receiver. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, that being an interception is just frustrating, to say the least. Big hit, Earl Thomas. But I'm just... Now I'm annoyed. This is what everyone likes. This is the content you like. Me complaining the entire episode. But that's a really frustrating start. I'm not going to hide my emotions. I'm upset about it. I am. But, like, that's a completion. There's Dennis Peoples, Dennis the Menace, Jaguars fan favorite... Like, I get he's way better, but, like, uh, the CPU just gets bailed with every single little thing, and it's infuriating. Oh, 
Throw to the running back. I mean, we're just... We're not going to be in a position to make that play ever. The fact of the matter is that our players just are not good enough to do anything. We can't really run zone. We can't really run man. They will beat every single coverage. It's play action. Someone get to him. Better throw, and that's a TD. To be fair, Dennis Peoples is running that route basically out of the back of the end zone. We got to have better spatial awareness if we're Dennis Peoples on that one. To run up the middle, that's a big play. That's a big tackle from Jeremiah Langford, the rookie out of Michigan State. Over the middle. And finally, we get pressure. Turn around. Not you. Oh, my God. There's a flag. It's got to be a hold. It's coming back. That cannot be a Dennis Peoples touchdown. But how does no one get to Jordan Love and bring him down? It is a hold. We had him. We had him in the backfield. We got to take that. We got to take that. They're going end zone. Isaiah Simmons on Dennis Peoples. What are we supposed to do? Oh, my God. He's not even open. That's the worst thing. He's not even open. And Dennis Peoples is just better. Third and 18. Nice TD, dude. Oh, Yeah, what do you want me to do there? What do I do better on that play? See, I just see one side of the field so open. You know what, though? Why not? It's going to be a false start because I'm trying to go back to a run. Uh, is that a first and 15 run? What's happening? I just need to settle down and try to make some plays here. We're going underneath. Trying to get some yardage back. It's going to be third and long still. Third and ten. Let's try to get ten yards. I'm probably looking at Wayne. That end's not going to be open. CJ Henderson's going to be taking whoever out of the play. That's just kind of the reality with that. We're going to cross Teague back across the field. Pressure's coming in. And was that accurate? I'm not even sure. Either way, it's an incompletion, and we will punt. I can't play offense. These sliders are tough as hell, to be fair. But uh, I can punt. That's one thing I do well. It may be the only thing I do well. And Dennis Peoples is still returning. Oh, these Jaguars, man. They are tough. That's open? Is that really open? He breaks a tackle as well. I don't know. Was that Zach Cunningham on him? I'm not even really sure how to line up. We just don't have... We don't have the DBs to match up. We don't, we don't have anything. Run, Aaron Jones, just way better. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to sit back, relax, and get annihilated. It's a run. Met him in the gap. Aaron Jones just goes right through me with Earl Thomas. It's another run. Oh, it's play action. I'm going to get in there anyway. We forced a quick throw. We got a pressure in there. It's third and four, even though I made the wrong read. Can I turn that off infinitely? Why do I have to say turn off auto flip every single episode? I'm going to use your Isaiah Simmons here. Jones going out on a route. Taking him away. It's a touchdown. Doesn't matter. Oh, we actually kept him out of the end zone. That's Dennis Peoples on the rookie converted safety Luke Townsend now playing cornerback it's a mismatch we just don't have the corners to cover these players let me get in there big hit Zach Cunningham Malik Harrison now uh, Dennis Peoples is wide open there's no way to cover him that's the reality there's no way to cover him he's too good this is G.A. Henderson still in the zone we still can't really move the ball. That's a good run from Edward Teague, though. Got to get Teague going. That looked like more than six yards. I kind of just want to run at C.J. Henderson. I know what type of tackler he is from, you know, Jags franchise, all those episodes. But he, he sheds the block and makes the tackle. He got pancaked every single play in Jags franchise. Where has that been? Got to go with the drag there. Quick throw. It's Pat Bridge. There we go, Pat. Finally a first down. That might be the first one of the game. We got to get CJ Henderson out of the zone, too. 
I tried for a cutback and it just didn't work. Thankfully, we got grabbed by Duran Payne for an extra couple yards. We'll see what happens. Pressure came in. What do you want me to do? I got a second there. I have a second to throw. Uh, we're just outmatched. Are they going to come in and try to block this punt? It's not going to happen. I like this punt. This should be a decent one. Play in the bounce. Didn't bounce like how I anticipated. So that's awesome. Full power. Cool. Love that. Run up the middle. Earl Thomas. Big hit. We had Justin Reed get right in front of me and it didn't matter. You could pretty much see the magnetism of the players in this game on that play. Go back and look at it. Still did the best we could to get in position and we're cooked over the top and underneath. I mean, it was a completion anywhere they go. And it is every play. Oh, the quick throw. They're going to call DPI on that. That's defensive pass interference, apparently. Yeah, give them the first down. I mean, we saw that a lot in Jags franchise, too. But, like, it hurts to see it going the other way. That's a super annoying play. I mean, that is, uh, that is incredible. Oh, finally, pressure. It's the rookie, Jeremiah Langford. We said we need to get him going today. And there he is making a play. We're setting a lot of pressure here. We need guys to perform in man coverage. It's second and 20. I mean, we'll give them 10 yards here. That's all right. That's okay. That's, e that's, that's perfect. Third and 13. We're going to be relying on a four-man rush to get pressure. Let's flip that to get Langford going after the QB. I don't mean to be on DeAndre Tatum. Get past him. They're lock solid, rock solid. DeMarcus Holmes catches it, breaks a tackle, gets the first down. Once again, we are just outmatched. I'm there! User pick easy reads! The Lorax, Justin Reed with the easy read. R-I-D. R-I-D, R-E-I-D, R-E-A-D. I can read. Just can't speak, apparently. I don't know where to go with the football here. We're rolling out. Throw it away. Just please stop chasing me. I'm 2-6 passing. Third and 10. I am struggling greatly. I'm not sure if it's just that I can't find open guys. I'm really not sure anyone's getting open within the time that I have to throw. We're throwing at Caleb on Chase on there. You got to turn up field. That's a first down. You got to give that to me. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I thought he was short for a second. We need our first points of the game. I'm going to hopefully take CJ Henderson out of the play. I hope he's in man coverage. Lobbed it. Not accurate. Under pressure. We're under pressure so quickly. This has potential. This play has a ton of potential. We're going to keep Teague in the block. Actually, you know what? Block and release. And I'm looking for maybe Givens or Pat Bridge. Pressure's coming in. We're going to throw that. Sideline, not accurate. Like this, I'm, I'm finding it impossible to move the ball. I mean, we can't even punt well. That's how you know there's a problem. Big hit. People's old on. I just rushed there. Not that it matters. We had Langford in coverage. Listen, I know these sliders are impossible. They're, they're really, really hard. I got to figure out a way to beat them, though. There's got to be a way. Am I naive to believe that? Probably. Oh, tried to read that. Dennis People is just wide open. I really like the base. Like, 3-4. Because we have... Oh, that's a really weird play. Because we have Jeremiah Langford coming at the quarterback every play. And we have Isaiah Simmons, who's a cover linebacker, playing off the ball every play. Which is the ideal fit for this defense. And he decides to blitz there because he notices immediately that Aaron Jones is not a route. That just shows you how uh, there's no reaction to the CPU. It's just they're completely dependent on knowing the play. Because Isaiah Simmons rushed the passer immediately. 
Trying to cover here. Trying to cover. Get after the QB, please. It's going to be roughing the passer, I swear to God. You cannot tell me that's roughing the passer. Oh, my God. It, it can't be. Jeremiah Langford. It, it, he isn't. I'm getting cheated. I'm getting cheated. I mean, he's already lunging at him. Oh, jeez. Roughing the passer in this game is unbelievable. We're going to be down 21 nothing going into the half, probably. Easy throw over the middle. Huge hit. LaVisco holds on. It's going to be a touchdown. We can't stop it. Huge hit. The Jags call a timeout. In theory, we have enough time to score. But what I'll tell you is there's not enough time in the world for us to score. We just can't move the football. Third and goal. We really need a stop here. We have potential to make a stop. I'm right there. I'm right there. He throws at me. He throws deeper, I guess, than my depth. I covered that as well as I could have, I think. I mean, look where I am with Zach Cunningham. We just didn't keep up the pace. Good anticipatory throw from Jordan Love. We're down 21-0. Okay. 46 seconds and three timeouts to move the football. I would like to say that Teague was open on that one, but he got bumped right as I was looking to throw to him, and he uh, got less open. I mean, Givens I can't throw to because C.J. Henderson's covering him. I'd like Duvernay on the corner, maybe. We're going to throw it. That's a great ball. That's a great ball and a great catch by Devin Duvernay. I guess it makes sense that we're struggling. But it, I am... I'm struggling to record this. I mean, Joe Schobert... I need to just see how he moved and reacted on this. Because we didn't see that coverage Joe Schobert at any point. Look at the fluidity. Look at the fluidity of this coverage. I mean, he just takes away every single route there. What am I supposed to throw? Can I get it over to Wayne? I don't think I have that. Maybe if I lobbed it up, but at what point do I throw that ball that someone's not making a play? He turns around, makes a play. Ronnie Harrison keeps up pace, makes the play. There's no window. There's no window to throw anything here. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go with the ball? Like That's a legitimate question. Uh, third and 10. Do we have Teague there? Nah, Joe Schobert's a freaking Deion Sanders level of coverage on him. Um, we'll try for three. It's putting a Band-Aid on a freaking bullet hole. I, I don't know what, to, what else to say. Like, we're down 21-3. to three, And we don't get the ball to start the second half. That is going to be half number one. We at least showed up to the stadium. I really can't say much more than that. Maybe the second half will be better. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll wake up tomorrow. I'll just have a million dollars in my bank account. Yeah, maybe it'll happen. Pressure. You got to make the play. Please. All right, Davidson. Made a great effort, but did not make the play. We're going to need unbelievable man coverage here. I hope this is a run. It is. Pump fake draw. Good jukes from Aaron Jones, but we got we just got, you know, good stuff there. Clarence Trent, big 69, making the big stop. I don't trust them, period. I'm going to rush with Langford. We can't get there. LaVisca's wide open. Did it matter? Thank God they didn't go deep. One-on-one -on -one with Dennis Peoples down the field. I had Earl Thomas, who isn't even that fast anymore. That was probably going to be a losing battle. Anytime they throw for Dennis Peoples, it's a catch. We just can't... And there he is. We can't defend it. He fumbled. Please tell me he was still up. Please tell me he fumbled. Please don't overturn it. Couldn't even look at it. I saw it. I opened my eyes and I was disgusted. Second and two. 
I need this defense to make a freaking play. Now, that's a nice play from Zach Cunningham, but it is also a first down. So, we just got to go base 3-4 and hope to make a play. Please wrap up. Somebody wrap up. Jeremiah Lankford got there. He's a really good player. We just need him to be a great player. He's only a rookie. We don't know his dev trait. If I had to say that anyone's superstar X-Factor on this team, it probably would be him more than my QB. And then Aaron Jones just said, hey, Isaiah Simmons, uh, I'm your dad now. That's wide open. It's Ricky Seals Jones. A guy I didn't really expect to see today. Yeah, his first catch, and it's a doozy. Jags, they're going to make it 28-3, to which we've seen teams come back from before. Hopefully this time. Sick throw. Fullback dive. It's Bronson. What? <laughs> Bronson Rex Steiner. Player I signed. Fullback dive into the end zone. That was the weirdest animation I've seen in a minute. Can I see the replay on that? Look at this. So I, I react and try to cover it. We get blocked. Is that Max Sharping? Blocking two guys. Got a hand on him. Rex Steiner blows him off and then makes an inhuman cut. Inhuman. It's 28 to 3. The comeback starts now. Now we can't play defense or offense, so uh, there won't be a comeback. We just, there's no running lane there. I know it's a stretch. Um, there was nowhere to go. And this is why you see me, like, not running the ball that much. Because I, I hear all day about how all these holes are there and I'm just missing them. They're, like, they're not there a lot of the time. We're going to run on this occasion, though. Big slide. 10-yard rush. Third and four. It's four down territory. I'm going to be honest with you. It has to be. Because we're getting smashed. We need to do something. Quick throw. We got it to Teague. He's close. He's not going to be there. It's fourth and one. I don't feel comfortable running the ball. That's the problem. Inside zone, though. It looks like it would be open. I just need someone to hold a block for a second, dude. Run up the middle. Teague, first down. We're just going to lob it up. It's an interception. <laughs> uh, Sydney Jones. We had to try something, man. There's absolutely nothing open. Look where the pressure is. My And if you think this was open, I threw a pick on this earlier. And that's CJ Henderson, so... Tried to lob it up, say maybe Duverday would have more speed than Sidney Jones, and there was just never even a play on the ball. Please make the play. It's another throw away. Third and ten. I hate to just say this, but they're going to convert. <laughs> they're just going to. How can we stop it? This coverage... I got to use her over the middle of the field. Has to happen. It's going to be not a first down. I'm like going quiet, just trying to think about uh, taking everything away. They're going to take their three. They're going to make it. It's going to be 31 to three starting the fourth quarter. I don't want to eliminate us from uh, possibly contending the rest of the game, but. Come on. I'd like to get a touchdown at least. That'd be cool. All right, first and 10. It's open. Turn up field. Matthew Wayne. Big gain, Wayne. Look at Teague. I didn't even try to do that, by the way. When you run the ball, at least on next gen, the CPU just takes over. They don't let you do what you want to do. Probably for the best. But I'm just... They don't let you. They don't let you. I hate how these games are just so animation-driven. It frustrates me. It really does. I feel like I have no control. We are finally moving the ball a little bit, though. Like, slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to throw for under 100 yards. 
we can't run the ball either. It's second and three. This is the time to take a shot. Play action, they don't fall for it. Maybe because we're down by a million. Please be accurate. Up the sideline, intercept it out of bounds. <laughs> this play looks like it has potential though. We'll see. We're rolling out. Up the field, Pat Bridge. Big blocks as well. I was super nervous that the linebacker there was gonna make a play on that. Thank God it did not happen. They're in a different defense with different personnel. How'd that happen? Oh my God, he broke the tackle. Throw it, throw it, I'm spamming the button. And now, now we're gonna fake spike it, I guess, because uh, you just gotta be kidding me. Cause I'm, I'm jamming square and nothing's happening. I'm running. I just gotta throw it away, dude. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? You wasted time out there? Maybe it's our best chance to score all game. Maybe I should have done that. It's annoying you can't audible out of that. It's like it's so frustrating as this entire game is. We got a we got a lineman in. We have a lineman in at tight end. What is the flag? Roughing the passer? Please, thank you. <laughs> Finally, it goes our way. Let's get out of pistol. This sucks. I don't know where to go with the football. Everything's covered, every play. Outside, Teague. He didn't catch it. Okay, I threw it too late. Ask Madden doing a pretty poor job today. <laughs> the offensive coordinator, as I like to pretend, is uh, doing a pretty poor job. I got to scramble. It's the only thing that's worked. Schmidt, touchdown. Victory. Oh, that's right. We're down by 30. No, it's only 20-something now. Only 21. We're only three touchdowns behind. We're in this. Is it too early to start calling timeouts? I don't think so. Oh, well, that's great. Doesn't even matter. Hit him! Let me switch to... God, why would I want to switch to somebody chasing? That would have been a nice tackle. I swear Jeremiah Langford is the only one on the team that actually wraps up. You guys excited to see how we give up this third and five? Just run the ball. Put me out of my misery, please. Cunningham. I'm going to call a timeout. That's a huge hit. Would love a fumble there. Field goal is good. We go down 34 to 10. Could we make this 34-17 before the game's over? Mm, no. No, maybe. I mean, let, hey, let's think positive. Yes, we can do it. We can do it. Yay. All right. And one more run for good measure. Yep. That is the game. It was never in doubt. We were going to lose this game, and we got throttled. I did make a nice user pick. That's the saving grace. Um, that was that was really bad. I don't even... What's my thumbnail here? I threw three interceptions. No touchdowns. We got crushed. We averaged 1.3 yards per carry. I think I did get 12 touches, though, for Teague. So that's cool. We Dennis Peoples had three touchdowns. Jeez, oh, we we didn't really get any pressure. Langford with a sack and a TFL. Other than that, we just we just got crushed, dude. Oh, we just got crushed. Upgrade for Jeremiah Langford. Do we know his depth trait yet? Still not yet. We're gonna get him up to an 80 overall though. That's very nice for the rookie. Finesse moves up one. Zone coverage even up one. Ness moves is an 83. I'm not sure that's going to make a big difference. I need to develop DeAndre Tatum into some type of a rusher. Because he's real bad right now. We just, we need a pass rush up the middle. We need a pass rush in general. And guys are just struggling. Luke Townsend can't do anything. We're going to do man coverage. We've been playing more man. I feel like we've been more successful when we run man. And we need him to be able to do something. His man goes up by one. That's not helpful. 
We are two and three. When is Will Fuller coming back? Wants to renegotiate a contract. We get him back in one week. We get our starting right tackle back in a few. Well, Will Fuller's cleared. So that's going to be a big decision for next week. It's probably not worth it. But that is going to do it for me for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my pain, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.